two girls. I live in Southland, California. In year of 1999, I work at the IT company. Uh, the, the IT wasn't my major, so I, I thought that I needed to work very hard to catch up. And because of the stress and the long working hours, I had skin problem. And then I saw doctors, but none of the medication helped. So it was pretty itchy, like my neck, both of my neck and my arms. Um, I happened to be in the marketing department. So I need to visit customers every day. So every time when I see my customers, I can, from their facial expression, I know they focus on my, my neck, my broken skin. I have to explain to them that that wasn't con contagious, so it's okay. Um, but that really bothered me because uh, anytime it, it was itchy and painful. I don't know how long I can endure that. I didn't even think about going to church or seek for uh, help of religion. Uh, but one of my co-workers invited me to church. I wasn't willing to go with him because I have very bad experience with Christians. But some other co-workers wanted to go, so we just went together. After a few visits, uh, I discovered some questions and I thought about my sister. Um, she is the member of True Jesus Church. So I call her and ask her question about church. And she told me to go to True Jesus Church to take a look. Um, she said, um, True Jesus Church followed the teachings according to the Bible. Um, but I didn't go right away. One Saturday morning, I thought about going to church. I found the church and I walked into the chapel. But just a few minutes, I think that's less than five minutes, I, uh, I shed tears when the speaker say, oh, look at the certain verses. Um, and I look at the verses, I, I shed tears again. So for the whole service, it was like that. Just turn to the verses and shed tears. When it's about the end of the service, uh, uh, it's, it's time to sing hymn. I didn't know how to sing that hymn either. But when I look at the hymn, I shed tears again. And after that, it, it was the concluding prayer. And I, uh, I didn't know how to pray. I just look at people, uh, they kneel down, I just follow them. I close my eyes and my mouth said, God, I know you want me to come to this church. From now on, I will come to this church. It's, um, it's pretty, uh, the, the impressions is deeply rooted in my heart. Because uh, I wasn't sad, but I shed tears. And then I know that God moved me to say, that's the church God wants me to come to. So from that day till now is like 14 years in True Jesus Church. After coming to True Jesus Church, I thought about going to church more often, but because of work, I couldn't go to church every week. And there is no way to heal my skin. I thought about quitting the job, but if I quit that job, 
It seems like the efforts, the time I spent in the past was in vain. So it's like I need to restart everything. In the past, I usually plan everything. I want this and that. I make the decision by myself. But this time, I would like to ask God uh, to give me an answer and help me to make the final decision. I wrote a letter of resignation, but I didn't just turn it right away. I pray every time when I uh, went into the office, I pray first. I remember uh, one day, it's, it was pretty um, unusual because I usually stay up late till midnight at office. So when I went to my apartment, I just pass out and I just slept till the next day. But I woke up in the early morning around four o'clock and I saw words on, on the wall. And it's, it says I uh, give up everything carry the cross to follow me. I remember that it's like two, three days, like the same time and the same words on the wall. So it's pretty clear for me, uh, it's God's guidance. I was pretty happy because I know that's the answer God gave me. It's good for me to quit the job. After I quit the job, I returned home. I was able to attend church services and keep Sabbath weekly. About a month later, I received the Holy Spirit. I pray for my baptism. I pray for salvation. I pray for my parents. I think that's more important than my skin problem. I hope that God could bring my parents to church. And I had a long prayer. And I remember I prayed for more than an hour. And during the prayer, I saw a vision. I saw my dad walk into the chapel. Uh, I, was, I was converted because I, I knew that God will bring my dad to church. And the next day is Friday, and my parents, both of them, came to church. That was the first time for them to come to church. And the next day, it was Saturday. Uh, I prepared for the water baptism. We went to the, the baptism site, and, I, and we prayed on the shore before the baptism. Um, when I was praying, I felt I feel the light shining on my face. And it was moving. I think it's, it's, it's pretty warm and it, it was brighter than the daylight. So even I, I closed my eye, I was able to feel it. And then the prayer stopped. I walked down into the water and I still pray in my heart. And uh, after baptism, I came up from the water. I was still thinking about the light shining on my face. So after going back to church, I asked people if anyone saw the light. And the, her sister, she was baptized after me. She said she saw the light shine on that spot. So I was pretty happy that God's light shining on me, God's light is, was with us. Thank God that my skin was gradually healed. The Holy Spirit and the teaching from the Bible helped me overcome my weaknesses. I'm able to get rid of my bad habits and bad temper. My kids grow up at church I thank God for that because it's very important for them to learn uh, the teaching from the Bible, from 
young age and to know God since they are young. God and the church are the center of my life. We take kids to attend weekly church services. We keep Sabbath yeah. weekly. I feel like my life has been changed because through prayer and through the services from the sermon, the teachings of the Bible rooted in my heart. My sense of value is different.